Everybody's had their thyroid level checked at some point and thyroid panels differ uh, from doctor to doctor. Some mostly conventional doctors will check a thyroid panel that looks a little different than what we functional doctors like to check. So in functional medicine, we like to check a TSH, a, at minimum, a TSH, a free T4, and a free T3. And then sometimes we'll want to get a total T4 and a total T3 and a reverse T3. And then of course there's thyroid antibodies. I'll leave that for a different video. So TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. It's not a thyroid hormone. It's a pituitary hormone, which is up here in your brain that signals when your thyroid needs to put out more thyroid. So if your TSH level is high, it generally means that your pituitary is trying harder and harder to stimulate your thyroid because it's not putting out the thyroid that it needs to. And conversely, when your TSH is on the lower side, that generally means that you have too much thyroid and it needs to stop being stimulated. Therefore, you need a lower level of thyroid stimulating hormone. So we also look at T4 and T3. Now that I mentioned total T4 and free T4 and total T3 and free T3. So free T4 and free T3, those are the thyroid hormones that are free to move around, get into the cells to do their job. Having your thyroid hormones float around in your blood has no action. It has to get into your cells to do its job. And there are a variety of things that can affect how well that happens. So a lot of people out there have a lot of symptoms of low thyroid function despite having normal thyroid levels. I hope that makes sense. So um, we also like to look at the ratio of T4 to T3. So T4 is your reserve form. It's your pool of thyroid. It's not your active thyroid. So T3 is your active thyroid hormone. So you are relying on your body's ability to convert T4 into the active form of T3. And most people who are on thyroid replacement or thyroid hormone therapy are on levothyroxine, um, which is the generic form of Synthroid. And levothyroxine being T4 only, again, when you take that, your body has to convert it into the active form of T3. And some people, don't do that very well because of certain nutritional deficiencies or heavy metal toxicities, et cetera. Um, and then we would look at reverse T3. So if you think about free T3 as the gas pedal on your car, reverse T3 is the brake pedal on your car. And so reverse T3 is rarely ever checked by mainstream doctors. Well, it can give us a lot of information because if you're only looking at TSH, you're not getting the whole picture. If you're only looking at TSH and T4, you're definitely still not getting the whole picture. What does the T3 look like? Do you have a good T4 to T3 ratio that tells us you're converting that properly to T3? And sometimes we look at reverse T3, well, that can be super elevated, which explains why some people keep will tell me, well, I tell my doctor I'm still really tired or I'm still gaining weight, so they'll agree to increase my levothyroxine dose and then I might feel better for two weeks and then I feel worse again. Well, the, what's happening is your body's converting that T4 into reverse T3, which is further blocking your thyroid function. And just as a reminder of what your thyroid really is, it's a gland that's around here somewhere and your thyroid, I tell people, is like your, it's your internal engine. It's what makes things move and go. So if your engine slows down, meaning you have low thyroid function or hypothyroid function, think of your engine as slowing down. So your energy is lower, your metabolism is slower, your mood is lower, your brain function slower, your bowel function may be lower, your pain thresholds lower, your temperature runs lower, etc. Now, if you're on the other end of that spectrum, if you become hyperthyroid and your thyroid function is too high, your engine gets overactive. So your heart's overactive, you may be feeling palpitations, heart flutters, heart racing, um, your bowels may be overactive, having several bowel movements a day, and your nerves are overactive, you may be just jittery and anxious. Um, there are some symptoms that you can have on both ends of the spectrum, such as muscle weakness, fatigue, and hair loss. You can see with both low thyroid and high thyroid. 
So please beg your doctors to check the whole panel if something's not right. If you're just needing to get an annual screen, sure, TSH is fine if you're feeling good. If you are not feeling well and something's not right and you feel like you have a thyroid issue or your medication's not at the right dose, you should have the whole panel checked and evaluated. Good luck.